Mm. When you think of peak Hazard casts, perhaps you have to think of him here in the Premier League for that. Where was he at? Where would you rank him in terms of a Premier League player? Well, outstanding, one of the best. Um, not the best, but mm. one of the best. You know, certainly being a top ten. Have you said to me? Premier League players that had an impact. He, mm-hmm. he the game was quite easy for Eden, as in his how gifted he was. I saw him as a young kid when he was first at Lille about two thousand and seven, when he was a young kid, sixteen year old, getting the team. I think Rudy uh, Rudy Garcia was his manager at the time at Lille. Um, he won Young Player of the Year very quickly. I think he was the youngest foreign player to be voted French Player of the Year. Right. He won some, you know, and won competitions with Lille mm-hmm. at a very young age. Yeah, um, that's without all he. Look, he ended up playing over a hundred times for for Belgium, and I I think he's he, the best I ever saw him was when they played Brazil. Belgium played Brazil in 2018 World Cup, and it was Neymar in the Brazilian team and Hazard in the Belgium team, mm-hmm. where the game I felt was like who was going to make the. Azard was sensational. Mm. It was the hardest I've ever seen him work in a game. And he's brilliant technically. You don't have to, you know, he's one of the great genius. His favourite player was Zinedine Zidane. And, mm. he, you know, the genius technical ability he had. Um, so I would have said that period, but he was, for two or three seasons now, he was sensational for Chelsea. He had brilliant moments. Then he looked like he dropped. He, he always looked like one of them players. Every now and again, he'd take his foot off the pedal. But mm. because he was so good... Mm. The, the Real Madrid was just injuries, injuries, injuries. And, and that's the sad part about it. In his four years in Spain, he scored, what, seven times in 76 appearances yeah. uh, in all competitions. A lot and of them were sub. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even in just league games, 54 league games in four years. You're right. I mean, injuries really did hamper him. I mean, there was obviously that controversy as well when he joined Real yeah, Madrid. Yeah, he was overweight. Yeah, it turned up. He didn't put on a few pounds. He put, like, on four or five kilos, which... Yeah, so he wasn't... You no, know, you can't. You can't... I mean... You know, I've done, I've done some silly things in my career, but I've never turned up that much. Well, I I did once when I was injured for about six months, and I come back mm. and I didn't realise I'd I'd put on quite a bit of <laughs> timber. But it was but, a strange one, wasn't it? Because this was a move that he had craved for so long. Mm. It was quite well known. He went on holiday for three weeks and didn't train once on that, that holiday. And that was the problem for him, unfortunately. In that turned up when he first started at, at Real Madrid, and as you rightly pointed out, injuries really did hamper his time there. Um, but his, his partnership with, you know, his relationship now with Didier Drogba as mm-hmm. well at times. He mm. was brilliant with him. And, I, you know, the goal he got at Liverpool was one of the greatest goals I've seen, certainly, in, I think it was in the Cup game, uh, when he just came inside and just literally caused havoc and buried it in the bottom corner. It's a tre- tremendous, and probably, not to the same way with Gareth Bale, but Eddie probably f- fell short of actually what he was capable yeah. of. But yeah. he was known as the guy that, you know, I think in the training ground he'd been one of them, the lads loved him, great fun. Did he put his foot to the pedal on all his training all the time? No, he wasn't Ronaldo, he wasn't made like that. But his charisma as a player and a character, it shone when he was on his best. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and it, I mean, thirty-two is still quite young. It's still young, well, it's for, young for a player, and it's so. But as he says, it's sort of basically listen to your body, and your body's telling you it's yeah. time to. Do bow you know out. his best asset? His best asset. He would stand fullbacks up. He'd get them literally in a starting position, and that burst over five yards. Mm. He'd get past them, so he'd get them where he would literally stop. <laughs> they'd stop, and then from there he'd just go on this incredible burst of speed. He was brilliant at doing that. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Eden Hazard then retiring from football after a, it's fa- a fairly glittering career, we oh, should say. Career. He had a great yeah, career yeah. Uh, and won pretty much everything that there was to win in the game as well, but up, uh, on, on a domestic front, I should say. Obviously, not so much internationally, obviously. Um, but only 32. What a shame. Mm.